Okay, hello everybody. Uh, it's Freaky back with another video, uh, or Freak Show, it doesn't matter. Um, but in this video we're doing another Cinema 4D tutorial. It's been a long time since I did my first one, and it, to me it's got pretty good feedback on the other videos on my channel. So I decided to do one, and this one's about how to import your logo or like trademark, whatever you want to call it into Cinema 4D. So first you want to open Photoshop. I have CS5. I'm just going to take this controller and drag it in. Uh, instead of using a, oh, a logo, just going to use this controller. So first for me I get this weird little error thing. Sometime, not error, like glitch type thing. But what you want to do if like there's an image or like uh, I don't know what to call it like a piece of paper type thing right here just double click it and it should like allow it to be editable and it will open a new tab up here so well that's how you uh, start editing editing but I really don't have to so what you want to do since t uh, if you have like a different color logo on a different color background you can use this magic wand tool to get it just hover over the quick selection tool and it should be the check it or the second choice you hold down left click I shouldn't say hover over. so you would just click it and as you can see since it's mostly white it doesn't work for me so I'm gonna use the pen tool the pen tool just allows you to trace around your object well, you can do this a lot more accurate than I do, but just take your time, I would say, and if you don't know how to undo, undo is control V, or control Z, not control V, control V is paste, but yeah, so this might take a little while to do for you when I'm trying to hurry up and go through it not really I'm actually doing pretty well so I guess while I'm doing this I'll talk to you about what's been happening I know I haven't uploaded a video in a, like two weeks I think and then uh, so I'm sorry for that uh, but I've been uh, playing some Black Ops 2 and I will be using or getting actually I should say an HD capture card uh, so I will be recording gameplay from there doing commentaries montages because I if you never saw me play Call of Duty which reminds me I, you could add me as a friend if you want to. Just say, Freaky, I watched your video. I like you. You're pretty awesome. Very sexy. Uh, but you could just message me on there and I, I'll do a couple games with you. Depends on how long I can stay on. Or how long I want to stay on. Uh, so, this this is recorded on a Friday. It's probably going to be uploaded today, so there won't be much change. Uh, so I'm almost I'm finishing up here. As I was saying, uh, montages. I just message me. Uh, that's really it. I've been trying to get the diamond snipers in Black Ops 2, which the SUV. I can I can like swear because of that. I I don't swear much unless I'm with my friends I do so wait now that I finished this uh, the outline of this controller you wanna right click and say make selection and then don't change anything on here I didn't change it I think so and just press OK now down here you wanna make sure you duplicate this. So duplicate that layer and press OK. Now make a new layer and drag it below the duplicated layer. Now delete this bottom one. Just delete layer, you're done. Now 
make sure you go to the background copy or whatever you had named it and press inverse now just press the delete key and you're good you could just leave it like that I accidentally moved it uh, and you can just deselect everything and it's free there's no white background like I used to have now you want to make everything in this a solid color so as you can see there's like the blue yellow the green the red gray up here up here down here so I'm just gonna choose black and you could just you can either go back to the outline of the controller like this make sure you delete it again and then just select and then inverse it again and then put it in keep pressing it in until it covers the entire thing you could do that or you could just keep clicking in there this this way is a little bit more precise if you ask me but uh, that's how you fill it and after you're done filling it in a solid color go to paths and make sure you have this work path so I'm just gonna rename it to controller and there but make sure like the controller shows up here if you didn't see that first um, now you want to go to export and then paths to illustrator if you don't do paths to illustrator it won't work now select the path you named which mine was controller just press ok it's gonna save as an adobe illustrator and that's what you want so i'm just gonna save this to my desktop and you could close down photoshop and just take this and drag it into here in the cinema 40 don't change anything it's fine now you can see you have your little outline of your controller let me just if for some reason my okay and then now you're all like but freaky you, it's not 3d well to make it 3d you want to grab an X crude nerves I guess yeah nerves and then just make the controller the child object now look what you got you got a fully functional fully solid controller and or controller mine's a controller only uh, and you could just use the scale tool to scale it out and uh, look at it it's perfect and if you want to make if I render it now you might see like the bumps you could change it like right here uh, type as you can see now mine's Beezer you can change it to linear linear like smooths it out a little bit or you could go back to here and change it to like cubic which cubic seems like it'd make it cubier but it cubier but it really doesn't just mess with this as much as you want uh, I like this one the B spline looks pretty good and then if you didn't catch my other tutorial uh, I'll show you how to make a uh, a material like a color for this instead of having it plain gray which doesn't look really good so since controllers are white let's just I can change the color table because it's got more options I'll change it to white and let's put on some reflection make sure you don't put on too much so it's like that so change it down to like 20 20 looks good and uh, you could you could uh, experiment more but I think I like this color for the controller just drag and drop on the controller and there looks pretty much like an Xbox controller to me you can add more shapes just go to the square up here and select shape but I won't do that because I like this um, 
and to do like make sure you wanna add a background if you want to I suggest to do a background if if you're one of those background type people just make sure you change the size in here just really big and it should change both and now you can see you have a lower background to it and go up to the plane press control C control V and you should get a duplicated copy you want that so now I had the scale tool on so I can make this larger now go to plane one move it back you can move it on here on the z-axis move it back go 500 I I usually do 500 because it's not too far away not too close and then just go to P and rotate 90 degrees now you see you have bottom floor and your wall let's go with that and now you can also create colors on here it's just make a better a little gray make it a little bit darker whoops wrong thing uh, yeah make sure you have the right tab selected that might help uh, let's give it a little bit of reflection and just place it on both of these and render it out see what we get we get this nice little controller effect down here you can uh, see this the reflection you can add shadows on here you can do global illumination and I do these two it will take a little bit longer to render as I'll show you no I don't want that stop that saves it I'll show you how long it takes to render it's maybe 30 seconds at most a minute I mean at most it says the steps down here I'll tell you the time when it's done It took 40 seconds to render, but I have uh, these two on, so you have to have a light. If you don't have a light, it will not render out. So let's just add a light. To add a light, you just click this. There's spotlight light. I'll just add a regular light. You could add a spotlight, but personally, the regular light looks, and to me, feels the best if, if you want to okay now zoom in make sure your controller is center or logo I'm using a controller so now as you can see the controller shows up in the background uh, it's starting to render out so it might take a little while longer since I added the uh, light but uh, you could see in a couple seconds when it starts going from the middle out that it's going to reveal a nice little uh, effect. Gives it a little bit more real effect. You can see the light reflecting off here. I don't have, I don't think I have shadows on. Yeah, I do. Because you can see the little thing in between the so if you don't want to see that you could just simply raise the controller just raise and then you could zoom in so you don't see that little corner at the bottom and then render it like this but I already said showed you guys how to render you should know how to animate if not I'll do a little quick one so let's say I want it to fly in. Let's go 50. 50 uh, every 30 seconds, I think, or every 30 frames is about a second. 
So let's just go like frames and a half. Move this forward, keyframe it here, and make sure your camera, because you don't want like the controller to show up in your camera. Make sure your camera is in front of the controller. Uh, uh, I'm not putting much time into this animation, but if you want to see a more in-depth one, in depth one just ask me and I shall do one so let's just see oh there comes the controller and it lands in that spot so you could also keyframe it so every or er, auto keyframe where you every time you move it or like change its position it will automatically keyframe but it's a lot harder to me to use so I just used uh, keyframing uh, manually but yeah to save it, I keep pressing the wrong button. You press the like the cut thing. I don't know what it's called with the settings uh, or the gear, and you want to go to save. And if you're trying to save this as like a video, you want to go to AV Movie or QuickTime Movie, or if you're saving this for like a picture without any frames you want to do PNG I'm gonna I usually save it as quick time for cuz for me it's faster and then you press this three dots at the end uh, let's go desktop save this as controller or no logo tutorial and then save it's not going to save the entire thing, so don't worry. If you're not done yet, uh, you want to go to Output Next. And for a YouTube f uh, picture, like a YouTube video, the size of it is one, one, bleh, 1270 by 720 and that's the size you should be as you can see it now changes in here so you might wanna move it a little bit uh, that's fine and you want if you want like a picture you wanna do current frame but if you're doing like a short little movie you wanna do all frames which it's pretty self explanatory for the sake of time I'm not gonna have these two effects on so I can delete the light. Uh, so now to finish off, like if you think everything's perfect, you can just press the middle render button, and and you can see it start going. Mine's gonna take a little while, so I'll pause the video until it's done. Okay, so it's done, and I will show you it. If you didn't uh, notice, eh. Uh, that it actually you could shorten the film by just changing the 90 to something shorter so like 60 but I already rendered it so you might want to add extra seconds on the end of it though because it might be a little long or it might be a little too short so I was actually watching Minnesota Burns so sorry if uh, you uh, yeah so now let's just see how good it runs and if uh, quick time would want to open there we go just see it just goes in and then you got that extra time at the end starting like here have about this is about two seconds long three 90 frames per second is three seconds long uh, thanks for watching and if you want me to do any other tutorials that you're stuck on, I probably know the answer. So uh, just message me or I read all my comments. So you can just comment if you feel free to. See you later, guys.